malice, compassion, and egocentrism. The three basic ascensions of all actions. The egocentrist is easily to manipulate it. He only have to have somebody to blame for his own failure. The egocentrist is easy to corrupt by malice. Which is the purest manifestation of pure evil. Corruption, hatred, destruction, murder, evil contempt, corruption. Compassion is the only true form of moral conduct. Compassion is sacrificing. Compassion is giving more about others than you give about yourself. An action of compassion is an action where you may can risk anything if it is not popular. An action of compassion is an action for disenfranchised groups of living beings and against the status quo. Being ostracized for the thing you are believing in. Being called extreme, being called self-righteous when you are absolutely not self-righteous because you are fighting for disenfranchised groups which is righteous self-righteous involved to fighting for your own might to improve yourself in society or in perception of others fighting for disenfranchised groups specific when it is not social or accepted that those living beings have rights is courage and self-sacrificing and the purest manifestation of morality morality is not based on a social contract morality comes from inside it comes from compassion and decency causing the least amount of harm possible on the planet now nobody is 100% malice nobody is 100% ego and nobody is 100% compassion I don't believe that maybe some people are closer than others some animal species are closer than others but 100% I think not is the case I don't believe in absolutists in this case in the time of slavery when whites like William Lord Garrison was fighting for the rights of blacks where it was in that time not popular since the majority of the people were or were profiting from slavery or were slave masters or were indifferent which actually means that you are for like Henry Weasel also say, take sides, neutrality helps the oppressor, silence encourages the tormentor. That wants the victims in those scenarios. Slavery abolitionists were also just like vegans and animal rights people, 
getting death threats. Check out the videos of hate comments that Go Joey Carpstrong gets, who are Earthling Ed. He also gets sometimes some bits of hate death threats, hateful death threats from farmers and carnist addicts. Self entitled first world pricks. Carnist. Now you also can uh, look on my social media. I get also sometimes death threats. Because I'm speak up for the voiceless, for the ones who are not considered by our barbaric, outdated government to be legal persons. Which means by them that there are somebody and not something. It is outdated and psychotic, to be honest, to classify animals as near objects, like computers, TV sets and cell phones. That mindset is quite frankly a sociopathic. That is the same kind of mindset that white slave owners used in the time of slavery in the West, in America and some other Western countries. And the same mindset that Arab slave owners used in the Dali Sultanate. And in the Ottoman Kingdom, or Empire, Sultanate, or how you want to call it. Again, it is very easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty. When you are in power, you can decide to turn them in a commodity or not. Blacks in the US were called not humans, they were chattel. Chattel and the word cattle used for ruminants, specifically the bulls and cows most of the time. Both come from the Latin word capitala, which means property. That means they were considered not a person. They were actually, in the time of slavery, a um, black person were often in the best scenario considered according to the law just fifth of a person. A person in that time was the lowest class of the free man. Different than the gentleman or the lady. Who were the more privileged kind of people in that time. So I say often that you have nothing to watch it any situation from the victim point of view. It is pretty easy to mock your victims if you are not a victim, label them stupid and dirty, mock their entire existence, turn them in a commodity, because it does not affect you, the sword feel not the pain it inflicts. Adolf Hitler, Gaddafi, all live by the might, my right mentality. Hammond, the governor of the South, American, 19th century. Idi Amin, Mussolini, all live by the might make right mentality. I believe they have the right to take away the rights of their specific victims. Carnists, cannibals, child abusers, all so live by the might made right mentality and think they can take away the rights of their specific victims. Now, if you want to know right from wrong, I have some very interesting thing to say. You have to then watch the situation from the victim's point of view. All forms of injustice. If you if we want to make a just society, you have always to watch any situation from the victim point of view. Animal agriculture is not justifiable. We 
don't need animal body parts to be healthy. We don't need them to survive. We can easily without. We can easily live from potatoes and rice and broccoli, fruits, lentils. Taste is not a good justification for committing mass amounts of genocide. Just like that is not for the pedophile or the rapists or the cannibal. Asking vegans to respect your choice of abusing animals for your taste pleasure is like asking black rights activists to respect the Ku Klux Klan or Alt Reich or other white supremacist groups. Asking vegans to respect your right, your might make right mentality and your Sadly enough, still choice of abusing animals for your taste pleasure is on bar with asking feminists to respect misogynists and rapists. It is also on bar of asking people how fight for the rights of children to respect pedophiles and homosexuals to respect the rights of heterosexists. You don't expect somebody to respect a choice. They are opposing. That's insane. Do some, some self-reflection people. Animals don't want to be your food. We don't need it to survive. So your position is totally self-righteous. If that state point shocks you or feels bring feelings of animosity against me, it is not because of what I say, but because you have nothing watched any situation from the victim point of view. At least not really. Imagine that you are being only born to be murdered. Or somebody takes children just to sell them off to uh, the child porno uh, rings or to prostitution. That's the same what people do in animal agriculture. They only breed animals to be murdered. So it is just as evil as people who are how just take children to sell them off to child uh, porno or to sell their children when they are f um, 16 or 20 dependent on which country you live in and which the legal age to uh, to marry um, them to um, a disgusting uh, rapist and force them into sex labor or something like that do you understand what I mean? Please, come with better arguments. Since there are not, stop making excuses. Check out my videos on why I'm still vegan. And I see you next time in the comment section. When darkness and light become one, reality is split in a way and the truth become visible. And check out. And always remember, choose compassion over selfishness and hatred. Because the only way we can bring justice onto this world is when we start to look the world in the uh, 
with the eyes of the victims and not of the eyes of the malice, of the hatred, of the vandal. We have to learn that the only true form of compassion, of, of uh, morality, comes from compassion. And that does not only include to our own selfish species. How is sticked in the mindset of selfishness? Because of our society's works. And how and which kind of people always run the societies? 